hello friends now we are going to discuss about the working of the basic working of ttl nand gate this is the circuit diagram of ttl nand gate here we can see the in the input of the ttl nand gate there is a multi emitter transistor this is a special transistor the number of inputs number of emitter of this the emitter of this transistor is is the input of this circuit that is the number of in emitter depends on the, num the how number of inputs we want if we want three inputs then we have to employ three emitter transistor now we can look the working of the circuit we know that this is the this is the truth table for nand gate here this this transistor acts as as and gate and the the the, the next the other part of this circuit in inverse the operation thus we get a nand gate nand operation this is the truth table of nand gate here we can see that when all the inputs are in when all or some of the inputs are zero then output will be one when all of the inputs are high then output will be zero first we we could consider consider the case when some or all or the input are zero that is this case that is the case other than this that is this all case consider that when some or all of the inputs are zero then the corresponding base emitter junction will be forward biased but the calcitor base junction will not be forward biased thus the ib2 will be very small thus q2 will not be switched on thus the drop across r2 will not be sufficient to switch on the q4 thus the connection between in here and here ground d will be a open circuited then current cannot pass through to the ground thus the here y will be 1 current will be flow through the output then y will be 1 that is in when the either some or all outputs are all in when some or all inputs are zero the output is 1 that is the case we discuss now now we can discuss the case when three of the inputs are high when all of the inputs are high the all all of the base emitter junction will be reverse biased but then the calcitor base junction will be forward biased thus the I, the current ib2 will be sufficient to switch on the transistor q2 then the drop across r, r drop across r2 will be sufficient to switch on the transistor q4 thus the current will pass through pass to the emitter and the current will not pass through the uh, pass through the output then y is will be is equal to zero that is this case this is the basic working of detail nand gate